Hello people, this is John Vergara, an artist, and in this video, uh, I want to share all of my drawing knowledge to, to people. <coughs> so, right here, this is a manga I'm currently working, but this is not my original work. Uh, this is copied from someone's work, and... I made my own version based on that uh, work and translated it in my language. So right now, I'm on the second panel but I will do this instead to, to tell everything. So first I will remove the bubbles speech bubbles and as you can see there's already a rough sketch here that tells that she is like shocked or embarrassed and what I'm to teach first is the line line arts So, what I'm going to teach here is my own style. Uh, manga has many uh, different kinds of style, which is what makes it beautiful. It, has, it can be drawn in different style. You can choose, you can invent your own. For example, I use lines even straight lines like this but some also I saw some arts that uses like this uneven lines like that but personally I use a lines like this just a uh, normal line so that's my style I'm going to teach all of my knowledge so I probably not going to include how to improve your art but I will tell here uh, all of my skills so first, I draw the line arts of her face. So, it's set in pen fade. Pen fades are very big. If you want to erase a very... very uh, big illustrations I'm using Ibis Paint uh, app for drawing and I am using only my two fingers to draw so first I start with simple lines like this then if you like you can reduce the opacity of the layer where the trap sketch is located and I use this main where the line arts where, where I put the line arts and I simply draw the normal ordinary lines 
for ice i make it like this then in the part near the ear it's thicker and the one near the nose is thinner and i and for the part near the nose i draw it like this then you can fill insides with black just adjust the the thickness if to make to for a quick filling then on the other eye Most of the time, I use the 1.0 thickness, so I use it to draw a lines. You can also use a uh, elliptical ruler. Uh, where is it? Uh, here. If you want a perfect but I don't see that practical. I, I think most digital manga artists uses uh, they simply draw it like this manually. But maybe some uses the elliptical ruler. And to make it more roundy make it quick and for for it to undo if you want to undo the drawing the the line art just tap the screen with both fingers with two fingers so like this then for here you can draw it like this so it's like the end is like sharp and do it on the other line like this never do it like this like if you if if you draw it like this you have to start on the other side like this don't do it like this so maybe some artists do that but uh, I don't recommend it if you want a good hair art uh, do it like this not this so And for more realistic hair, make it in different angles and, differ and in different thickness. Maybe one strand here and one thick hair here. Like this. Thin. Then one thick. A deep. You can even put a clump of hair like this and like this so there's two groups as you can see this one has three this is one big group you may also make it flat or 
something like this you may not see my finger but I only use my fingertips to draw just like a normal pen and also if you see this curve like this imagine the head into three dimensional and follow the contour of the head with this width curve it has to follow the contour of the head so if you notice this curve is like uh, like this uh, convex or concave to this because it's on this side and concave in this part because it's on the right side or her left side uh, I hope that makes sense maybe one strand here then So her bangs is pretty much done. Maybe I'll add a bigger bangs, bigger side hairs or side bangs. I'm not sure what you call this part. I call it side bangs. Fringe probably or I'm not sure. Then, as you can see, this pintar part is actually her front hair, but you don't need to draw or close it like this, connect, connect the other end. You can leave it as like this. Uh, now you can focus her back hair. If you want your character to have more detail on here, you can add it like this. And same, uh, same thing that I told you here, different thickness, make it more realistic, just like this, then follow the curve based on the head's contour in, in 3D you may want to develop a skill to imagine the three dimensional of one object like this but I won't do this kind of uh, line art because you can also do it like this or you can make it uh, like uh, like this like it's uh, split in two so just like this For the ear, uh, I, I won't teach exactly how to draw an ear, just study the anatomy, but the first step is you draw like this, so there's a one segment, one, then the second segment, then the one third big segment like this, then one hint like this, this is the first step, and the second step is draw an arc inside like this then the next step is there's a slight bulging shape like that shape like this and another shape like this so this area is kind of hollow 
and this one is bulging out I, uh, sorry uh, I, I haven't you can't see my fever this area is hollow and this area is bul bulging then the next step is there is a uh, like a small bulging like this You can also adjust the size and angle of, of a certain part with using a lasso tool. You see here, the lasso, circle the part, click this cross and you can adjust the shape. And if you like the image, just tap the check and you have now the the edited ear and she has no side here in front of her ear then I'll add the this uh, balls from here uh, how do you, what do you call this uh, hair then uh, since this hair is not visible most of its body um, we should draw her neck is instead and like this or maybe like this and a, sh a bulging shoulder if you want realistic uh, if you want realistic lines for body you I think I believe anatomy is very very important to learn and for hair uh, it's a ponytail like this since it's not visible because it's it's on her back i will teach it how to draw here so first it's let's make it like an s then another wavy like this and you can also you can fill it with black then another wave maybe from this area you can draw it like this then draw it like this then fill it another method is just adjust the thickness of this brush point and you can adjust it like this in this app you can adjust manual you can adjust it automatically if you set the tip like this the start or how pointy the start and how pointy the end but most of the time I, I prefer manual you can control it like this I think I prepared this the the 
the one that you need to draw two lines like this and sometimes you can draw the you can fill it with thick brush points like this and for more realism just drop some uh, hair strands in different thickness like this don't make it too thin uh, I think uh, uh, thin hair strands is only ap applicable for more realism drawings so this will do and the base should be always thicker than the tip So it's pretty much done. The next step is add the highlight. So first I will uh, this hair hair highlights and switch it to white. So when adding the highlights, it is important that both ends of white lines are pointy. You can adjust the thickness based on preferences like this. So let's say one like this and make it zigzaggy. Don't make it even like this. Don't know. Don't do that. So first like this and maybe a short one like this uh, one in top short uh, bottom short and the the one that near the center uh, in my opinion uh, it's more pleasing to say to see that it is pure white like this so you, you can add more sharp sharp lines uh, I mentioned that it it's good that the center of, of this one group uh, has uh, merge in white white body but don't make it all merge if like this this is just my own opinion but just like I mentioned before about the thickness of the hair clumps make it also the highlights in different different thickness so if you see here there's a tree one is there's a one main big highlight like this the second is this and one is just a single stroke like this and 
I forgot to mention but before you add the highlights there are two things that you need to to think first is the light source let's say the light source, light source uh, set it to black first the light source is here the one that that's near let's say this entire hair the one that's near the light source has the highlight and the one that furthers that becomes further the highlight becomes pointy like this and the second thing to think is uh, you have to imagine the hair in 3d so if you think this is like roundy you have to imagine uh, you know you have to know how to map it on your mind the 3d shape of one object so i can just erase this uh, hair because it's hidden on her back oh uh, i forgot to there is a separate layer for one for hair itself but i, I think i forgot to draw it there so I'll, I'll just have to be careful to erase so like this and now for the hair uh, for me it, it is it is a good it is a good way to to first memorize what's the hair shape in 3d first before coloring it especially if you want to fill it in black so you have to to know what the hair shape in 3d before before filling it black so now that I now that I know I will uh, hide the the sketch and just fill it you can set it to gap recognition or Or just lessen the strength uh, I will fill it all the gaps so it won't uh, it won't it won't skip the hair so select the plug layer then fill it set will do oh maybe it, it this one is the one that leaks the block okay so yes and this is the next that I'm going to teach about the hair so you can refine by sharpening the the points
Okay. So, you have to make it pitch black. Okay, so here's what I'm going to teach. First, so it, it is good idea to add a separate layer for hair highlights and use the white color and if the light source uh, is around here the one that that nears the light source will be the one that has highlights uh, so let's see it in two and add the same procedure so same method on what I told you in this part so uh, I find it more comfortable to simply draw it like this separately but some people may just add it like this uh, you can choose on either method uh, so one method is make it more uh, uneven don't make it even so like this you see this one group of highlights maybe on the next there's a one like this and maybe one here and this area is somewhat uh, uh, hollow and this area is some I think if, if you imagine it in 3D this area is uh, is uh, not exposed to the light source so you can you can remain it black but this hair strand maybe one here so you need a you need a skill to imagine it in 3d so my advice is if you see this strands you can always group it like this this is just my personal way of teach it like this you, you have to memorize this then since the light source is here most of the highlights is on the left side the viewers left side So it will be like this. Don't make it even and make it zigzaggy like this. Maybe I'll increase the highlight thickness. Okay, looks good so far. Uh, this is just a preference, but in height of the hi highlights, I like it. Uh, thicker maybe one here
not only highlights should be painted in white but also the contours to to convey the shape of the hair so before I color this hair in black I mentioned that you need to memorize the shape so there is a separate line here like this and here uh, I think it's this one yes but make it thinner I'll make this two two point zero like this okay then line here near the edge then another line long line near the edge again this is just a preference some art style has that kind of line art then there's a split in this part so let's add the white lines here and some lines like this to convey that there's a split of hair like this and some lines here like this I hope that you get what I'm saying here. Uh, actually, not good much at teaching. This is actually uh, first time teaching in digital, okay. and it's been a while since I teach a drawing. Also, if you notice this one, one line, it is not connected here. I think it's more practical if you don't uh, link it like this. No, I, I don't think that's a good idea. And make it sharpie like this on both ends. Then I'll add some highlights here, make it zigzaggy. One group here, uh, a, a small group here, and the one that's in center, like I said, uh, try to make it group linked together. Like this pure white. Okay, so the hair is pretty much done. Lastly, to convey that it's, this part is being pulled by this hair, what do you call this? This thing. So add the lines like this, uh, then separate line maybe, so it's good, then maybe first add another line here to show the underside 
here fill it with black then hair highlights white then you can also add some lines like this uh, so the hair is done but I think maybe we can add another light source maybe maybe this one this one so it's so maybe it's there's some here maybe some lines here so we're now okay with hair So let's move on the eye. So we're done on here now. In eye, if you're drawing the traditional manga page in black and white, for me the first step is to make the the edge thicker. The next step is draw the circle in, in at the center. The next step is add a separate layer for screen and you can choose any kind of, sc of screen tone for it so I set it to this screen tone fill it like this the next step is on others in a separate layer for black you can draw it like this like an arc the upper part of the eye is covered so it is drawn like an arc like this and blur it this is just uh, my own style the next step is, is back to main then add the the circle but this one here uh, I think I, I'll suggest using this enable the force fade to set both ends pointy so start with this area so round so maybe adjust the point uh, length like this And lastly, the set the new layer to eye highlights. Set it to white, then 
on the corner you can add the highlights here line is done do the same method for the other eye Draw the arc. And add the highlights. And one thing that I want to tell you people is that the two eyes are pretty much mirrored on each other except one thing and that is the highlights if the highlight is on the left corner the other eye should be also on the left corner everything else is mirrored symmetrical uh, One last thing that I want to tell you is the it's, it's about the next line but I'll add first the the contour for her remaining body so let's say like this like this in shadows what I notice is you can draw it in many style. The first style is the simple black shadow. The other style is a gray. Oh. Uh, a gray like this then set it to multiply or screen like this or you can also add partially black Then add the sharpie lines, like, like which I call the volume lines, like this. Uh, let's make the lines thinner, like 
like this. Personally, I prefer using this. Then, in this part, there's a line like this. I like this one better. And there are two more that I want to tell people. We're almost one hour in recording. I hope the Pavon storage is big enough to fill the space, to fill the recordings. Uh, maybe I'll start with this, what I call the volume lines. Let's make it visible. The volume lines are like hatches, like this. And they are more prominent. Um, they are they are more in male body, boys body, like this. But I don't think it looks good on her because uh, volume lines only applies for for mail and in some objects one thing that I want to show is this what I meant this uh, lines you see these lines the hatches this is what I call the volume lines this corner of the wall uh, then I add this this screen tone, the like gradient screen tone, like this. I think I pretty much told you all most of what I know. And I think last thing that I want to know is whenever there's some two lines intersect like this, like clothes, I think we're done in this drawing because there's no, not much to add. Let's add those what I'm talking about. Uh, for example, you see this intersection of two lines. You, you, you have to refine the lines by adding this small detail like black uh, points like this and maybe this and maybe the one this maybe on his neck like this you can also refine the lines by erasing the excess like this to make it more appealing you see it's more pop pops out and maybe add more here you see it's more appealing to see now then like I said volume lines are more visible in men's body so I'll add it like this to convey that 3D-ness of one's body like this uh, I think I'm pretty much told you all I know uh, actually there's more but there's not enough time because the recording my shut down for lack of uh, storage space so I think this is it for this video. Thank you for watching and I hope that uh, I help you learn uh, for drawing. Thank you for watching. Big Boar, or I mean Vergara John signing out.